What's up guys? So, um, for today's commentary, um, I thought I'd just, I might just do one on the case of this guy, Jeremy Hammond. Now, uh, he, this is a guy that's not, like, widely, as widely talked about, especially, among, surprisingly, not even amongst a lot of the activists, um, but he, you know, as much as we talk about Julian Assange and Bradley Manning, um, but essentially this vi commentary, this video is going to be on Jeremy Hammond and um, and essentially on uh, some of the whistleblowers. Now, uh, Jeremy Hammond, like Julian Assange, Bradley Manning, is uh, being charged for you know bogus bullshit by the U.S. Justice Department. Um, simply because he, you know, gave uh, information to WikiLeaks, which apparently the U.S. government views as a terrorist organization. Um, but essentially, he was facing 37 years, and uh, he struck a plea deal. He, he did go for the plea deal, but the plea deal only cuts his sentence down to 10 years. And this is the thing also it's people like him that are being imprisoned Bradley Manning of course as many of you know PFC private first class Bradley Manning is being basically crucified by the US Justice Department for uh, for leaking information to WikiLeaks as well and now basically faces pretty much crimes including treason and aiding the enemy which could essentially mean death for him or life in prison the um, also and then Julian Assange is the founder of WikiLeaks and of course they're not saying that he there's the US government is wanting to charge him with aiding the enemy and uh, and and they're going to try to do this by having him arrested and extradited to Sweden where he's f supposedly supposed to be up for sexual uh, abuse allegations which are a bunch which is a bunch of bullshit it's just an excuse to get they were, there was women that were paid off to say oh yeah he raped me he raped me and basically Sweden now has has the right then to, then once they get him to extradite him to the United States where he will be basically crucified like Bradley Manning and Jeremy Hammond. So it's all basically revolves around the US government's tyranny really. When you consider also the fact that Julian Assange is Australian not American which really also makes no sense at all why the US government would want to try him why would it not be an Australian court? I'm just saying it makes no sense. It's like the whole case with the uh, with the U.S. and Mega Upload. They have no jurisdiction over Mega Upload because the Mega Upload was headquartered in New Zealand, and the guy I believe was was I'm not sure was either from New Zealand himself or was Swedish or German. I'm not really sure. The point was, it could they couldn't do anything about it, and it eventually came out that they really had no jurisdiction. So they basically now are being the U.S. government's being sued. So, it, you know, really funny. Um, <laughs> but essentially, it's all. This is really nothing more. Jeremy Hammond, uh, uh, Bradley Manning, Julian Assange. Th these are all whistleblowers, and essentially, if you're a whistleblower, which or would and a whistleblower, by the way, if you don't know by now, is a person that basically um, exposes truths that the U.S. government does not necessarily want the public knowing about. So, <laughs> essentially, that's what we are, and so anybody that's basically me. Anybody basically that's into this act truth activism is basically a target of the U.S. government. So 
and even people like me who put these videos openly on YouTube and knowing full well that my personal information and obviously these videos are probably being leaked to the government we take that risk everybody does also as well as that is people like anonymous who are hacktivists um, they take that risk too in fact they are in fact the US government is that's why the one of the reasons the US government is they're cracking down on the internet because activists and stuff like that are exposing truths to the public um, and Anon and that's one of the reasons why anonymous is you know the government's trying to label anonymous as a you know cyber terrorist organization and you know which is bullshit because they're not terrorists because terrorism is using fear and intimidation you know and and well terror obviously to control and manipulate the public into doing their bidding anonymous doesn't put fear into people the US government however puts fear into people they do it every fucking day the media corporate media does it every fucking day wolf blitzer terrorist nancy grace terrorist glenn beck rush limbaugh bill o'reilly terrorists president obama terrorist you know barbara boxer nancy uh, uh, nancy pelosi terrorists michelle bachman fucking terrorist every one of them they're the real terrorists but yeah they label us as the terrorists because we obviously expose them for you know war crimes and everything else so essentially this is all that's all i really wanted to say it's nothing more than a fucking witch hunt of people that's all this is to in this country we get motherfuckers in corporate hierarchies in government that will steal millions if not billions of dollars and they'll get a couple of years in prison or even time served yet somebody gets busted for marijuana or exposed or is a whistle and is or is arrested for being a whistleblower and they could get 10 to 10 years to if not life or death that that's that's fucking insane and that just goes to and that's just one of the just one of the very small things that goes on in America that is just one of the very small things that they keep doing this is one of the proof, one of the, the pieces of proof that the U.S. government is a totalitarian regime trying to crack down and silence people and keep information out of the public. That when a government fears so much that their secrets are going to be revealed, when they fear the people, that's liberty. But they, at the same time, they're going to do everything they can to control and suppress that information. Even if that means resorting to more and more totalitarian means to do so. I'm NorCal Nick, leader of the revolutionist movement, giving you something to marinate on. And this has been NorCal Nick Commentary for this week. Peace.